don't care if it wasn't great. I don't care if I've wasted an entire day just languishing in bed. I'm an artist, not a not a what, not a machine. <laughs> Read it again. I know, I was thinking on this further. My my piece on Aston Lanks and his wife Maud, whether they are his their names or not. And um he is Archie, so he was Archie when he's off doing, you know, other cat things. And uh, the bit about the shoes again, that they're going on about, she's going on about the shoes. And, uh, but he won't give back, but she's gone off to Sicily to do shoe modelling anyway. She doesn't give a fucking shit about the shoes. He's, he's gone off to, but it, does that even matter? He's gone off to Hemsby, to the, uh, the cottage. <laughs> having a fine old time with the wrens in a is he with the wrens though? I don't really know I don't really know I hate this story well we all hate this story but it's story it is a pre-written story it was written in advance years in advance dear Aston read it from the beginning let's really get into these characters I think I was Byron as well, wasn't I? Because Byron was in at the time. So this is what started. This was Byrony, Byron-esque. On the creative art of descriptive disclosure, I find myself solidified and indignant, dear Claude. So I sit with the Duchess, the scribe and the oak, tuffling with sordid, hapless attitude and lesser persuasions to force and flow redraft the horse as it were I find myself my mind for my ridiculous weak ability to resist following and serving my most petty ambitions that to capture your heart your soul and your fastidious attention to the brutalities of truth excerpt from the book on never right the dog's gone mad she's going to put the ball in the paint it's going to happen I can see it happening but then I went from that to this. I think I'd got another Facebook fan when I started writing this. Um, so this is old. I read it before. So dear Aston, this fetid pig of a solid heart, this black, dank yearning for conformity, what does it want for me to be s slain or salvaged? This weeping abscess of desire half dead and half felt where is it taking me neither somber nor gifting i think it's the aptitude it says altitude there nor somber nor gifting altitude a drum bearance of neither hope near loss any -E ir loss near scrambling disparaging and half-hearted refusing to conform still static and resolute like some stagnant crepid linguistic hoax boasting of intellect without fancy nor faith so indepidous, sanguine and sultry, a damp cat of despair you pitching pithy and pious arse write to me and return my shoes Maud Kiss my dearest Maud I hope my squally little tattle finds you well and your heart lifted as high as your relinquished septic corrosion of literacy left my spirits your shoes i'm afraid i put to the fire heated the kettle and warmed warmed myself this furbished twaddle of indolence may i oh christ's sake this furbished twaddle of indolence is promised to any remembrance of passion we may have openly shared to my shame that they shared any passion openly. Do not waste ink, time, nor wefted oak. Returning sentiment, yours in authority, Aston Langs. Again, it's it's. This is the sort of um, what I can't put the proper words up. But you know, there's two songs um. That go together, um, fuck you right back. That you know that a a one or whatever it was, and the girl one that went with it. I really liked that. I liked it the concept, but it's also it's the um sometimes you don't get the apology you want so you have to write yourself so it's all in those sort of veins 
I suppose. Stop talking through, just read it. Dear Celia, Aston has taken to hermitude with rigour. Send carriage. Twelve cases of ruby scotch. A roll of cheese. It could be just like a film roll of cheese, couldn't it? <laughs> could be anything you want. <laughs> and twelve cases of ruby scotch. A, a roll of cheese and one bag of apples. I'm planning on returning to Sicily for the remainder of the season. Garth. <laughs> follow me, follow me, follow me, let me go. Wrote, sending word that the sergeant's room is vacant and class to have been advertising for stationary positions. As you know, stationary positions I can hold with or without my shoes. She's going to be a shoe model in Sicily. Is that a good thing though? She's sort of fucked off to Sicily to be a shoe model and he's just gone off to Hemsby to the cottage. Do you know what's better and what's worse? Doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> Yours in dereliction and faith. Maud. Crispin. That is old fellow. That rangled old bat Morrow. She's Morrow because she's always tomorrow. It's tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow, manana, manana. Won't stop prattling and prancing like some putrefying half wimple. The simplest of tasks become lessons in pragmatic deformity. I'm sluicing all containment of the contaminated old harridan from my sooth, and I've burned the wretched shoes, taken fully to heritude, not recounting this, and plenty of false disclosures. Shall be at the cottage in Hemsby from Wednesday. The wrens are sitting in the box, and the herring gold dips its head. Salutations, scriplings. Scriplings, you may return. Scriptings? Scriptings, you may return. Right back, if you want. He's given the order. Archie. <laughs> Aston Lanks. That's the same person. Bruce. We find you well. Bruce, I hope we find you well. You sanguine old pith. Arching as only fair clothed might. We are planning on taking Hemsby for fortitude and fastidious flumplings. The shoes have driven Crombie over the edge. A moro has left for Florence. This capitulating shift in their ardour is resemblance. <laughs> That's a good motto. Jam too hard and clanking, grating loosely grafted in insanity, but still blowing at the shallow bowl, rocking cup of humid devotion. Their platitude and self-developed egos set crumples, stig walk, the realms of normality. Send no word, for I am transiting forthwith. Preston. He's in transit. He's, he's driving the carriage from here to there. It's an olden day thing. It may take. I'm thinking of Game of Thrones a bit now. He's in transit. He won't be able to send a message while he's in transit. He's in motion. Send no word for I'm transiting forthwith. Craston. Who's Craston? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't decided. That's the men there. Been crassing the things, Bruce and Craston. Off to the cottage. Crispin, in desolation, I find myself writing to you for no reason other than fancy. I'm just bored and feel like doing it. We know that we're intellectuals. This thing that has become the marriage of our friends speaks of neither closure nor clemency. But this is what people do, isn't it? Do you know what? We're all sitting watching other people. What the fuck are they doing? Why are they doing this? Why are we still doing this? It's what people do. This is who we are. We just observe. We talk about it. It drives us all mad. And uh, let's just carry on. In dissolution, I find myself writing to you for no reason other than fancy. This thing that has become the marriage of our friends speaks of neither closure nor clemency. The damp squab, yet heated flowers, the tents of twitching spasmodic sulphur, they both insist on. Tracky Mordai. That's tracky otomy, isn't it? I what the more that means. What does it mean? What does it mean, Stephen Fry? I don't really know. <laughs> You're lying to me. You're lying. Tomorrow, I can't remember. I'll have to... <sighs> Tracky. More die. Monday. What does it mean, more die? That Maundy. I'll have to look it up. You won't never find it. It's supl superfluous. Say it. I said I can say it in my head. Superfluous. And semaphoric of adolescent craptitudes. Alice herself was more demure, and as was a hate filled temptress, intent on gratifying every sodden acre of nonconformity, 
a sphinx with a sort of a goalless grappling grunt of a whip speed crankshaft. Alice was a mouse, a louse, and a left wing bigot, dressed in snake skin with three moleskin hats. She flew in a gratuitous word, gratuitous word, more kindly thought than any solid winged green beaver nor bear. A hollow, heartless hoax of a human. I still miss her interpretation of Faust in Memoriam. Her sucker, though, matched her artless skills at the stove. She spent three weeks in Crawley, was absent out for help three times. Rules and conservation of practice, felicity. Well, help is what the old old folk, we have help, house help, don't you? Like cleaners and people in the kitchen. It's just a joke. She couldn't cook, so she sent out for help. But why couldn't she fucking cook? I had to send out for help because she was no good as a hostess. It's funny. It was funny to me. And then I felt better. I was in a stinky mood and I wrote that. And it's just, I don't know, you go syncratic or something. I don't even know. <laughs> I did the same thing yesterday. Read it again about the foxes. What's the point? What's the fucking point? I've done nothing today. I haven't done my sit-ups. I've done nothing. Nothing at all. I'm just sitting here waiting for Thursday to come, praying I get some money to have a coffee. I can't do anything until I've had a coffee. Nothing at all, apart from this. And grunt and light candles. Luckily, I've got loads of candles tonight. Magic ones. <sighs> so that's the socks. You tick the locks. Had a husband on the block. The chopping blocks, like the guillotine, or the blocks. We know the ruddy sod, he's in God. Forgot his manners, spelled manners, M A N O R S, because it's blocks. I'm digging the two together again. You know what foxes are like, urban foxes. What his manners when on the rock. The vixen, though, put on a show. Slinks in the shadows nice and slow. Creeps around the fields at night. Here's a husband quite horribly tight. It seems quite soon the dog forgot who it was had chipped the lock. The hound set off, set to the horn. The horn of the, you know, master of hounds. But also the horn, you know, he had the horn. The dog fox ran to scruff and thorn. The vixen, though, sat in the den, sat upright with ink and pen. She wrote a card to dear old Pan and said, Please shake and scare that man. To Pan's delight, she wrote it light. The veil was thin, he sent a sprite, a nice young thing, called like a spring. She really was a spunky thing. Pan only wants it lightly written, doesn't he? He doesn't want to kill anyone. Not really, just to shake them around a bit. That's why it's to his delight, she wrote it light. The veil was thin, he set the sprite. A nice young thing, called like a spring. She really was a spunky thing. <laughs> I think I put bouncy thing, I just read spunky the first time. It's funny though, isn't it? Because spunky can mean a lot of things. Whatever sort of curse is that? A bouncy castle when you're feeling flat. I'll tell you in a day or two, after penning Sprite's numbers. Actually, I put Boo the first time. So maybe the Sprite had a Boo already. He's going to come bouncing back. You don't really know, do you? Pan's that sort of you-know-what. Impish. Impish thing. <laughs> Panny also loves the cat. The stay at home, spread on the mat, the cat that lays about the house, and eats baked beans to spare the mouth. I thought it was a good poem. <laughs> I don't care for your shit. Well, you might do. One day, you realise how good it is. It's true. Uh, what I can do now? I know, black my brain's full with this word search. I've got another puzzle book I found. Then I might write another poem. <laughs> <laughs> Who to? I don't know. My beloved. My muse. Who's your muse? 
Um, I don't know. I think they. I will keep a secret for at least a month. <laughs> Good luck with that. I know. I didn't finish this, look, in a tangle. I got to entwine and then gave up. Um, oh, God's sake, I have to do them in order. It's a thing of mine. E, again. <laughs> what do you mean nobody wants to watch me do a word search? Somebody might want to while they're trying to do something else. Uh, even more difficult. <laughs> I have got, I have got a, um, yes, I have got a um, Sudoku book. I've got two actually in the house. I hate them. Let's do this. Right. Supposed to be pleasurable. This is supposed to be helping. Uh, what's it supposed to be helping? Increase my vocabulary. I can't stand it. <laughs> Where is it? Read a book, have a cup of tea, get dressed, and take the dog for a walk. I think you could do. Could do any of those things, really. I'm doing this though. I can't concentrate and talk to you and do this. I need to find this one word whilst I'm talking. How long have I got? It's like 15 minutes. I bet you can see it, can't you? Yay, I found it, look. This is where I got to when I had to stop and write that fox poem yesterday. That's why. There we go. Even. What, I've just got to do that one? I suppose. We will get even. We'll even the score. Right. Smacks. See how quickly you find this. What do you mean you've seen it already? You've been you've done this one. I hate you so much. Win. No. Where's this from? Pound out ages ago. No. Yeah, it's work. It's probably true. Um, gyrate. Uh, la 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 la. I've seen slightly loads, but I'm not on that one yet. Uh, I suppose this probably helps you look for patterns and things, doesn't it? <laughs> Kink. Oh, babe, just trust your luck to have that in this one. Kink! Let's see, I'm never going to be able to find the kink. Never gonna be able to find it ever. Kink. Say it again. Kink. Kink. I can't find it, babe. I can't find your kink. You can't find mine either. Though. So there we go. Nope. You found the kink. I hate you so much. Kink. Puss, puss. Kneed. Kneed, babe. With a K. Kneed. K. 
for not. So there's a canoe. Canaffle. Going, it's not there. Tangle. Uh, might do something. Like yeah. I'm just shoe modelling my finely toned ankles. Everyone hates so much, why you have to push me down that hill and snap them. I'm jealous of my you know what? My fitness with word search. Let's try again. Okay. <laughs> Noel's laughing, laughing again. She can't even write a stupid tale without stabbing the you know who. Taking a stab, a sly stab that everyone missed. You thought she was just writing a dumb, a dumb jig. Well, I was writing a dumb jig at the same time. You know what? Where's the fucking knot? Um. A moral tale. I can't do it. Okay. And then you have to go round. Oh, there we are. Look. <laughs> List. Listing. Like a ship. I wrote that before. It's listing. There we go. Ship's list, don't they? Means what? Listing. I'll write that in something the other day. Uh, loop. I forgot where I saw it. I saw it already though. Loop. Loophole. It was where was it? That's cheating. Pretty sure. <sighs> there we go. Loophole dressing. What does loophole dressing mean? Well, you know what it means. Nip. You know what a loophole is, don't you, in something? Ring. What am I looking for? Nip. Uji, what's that mean? That word. Uji, what's it mean? It's there. Let's write it here. I have to check it. Later on. Pinch. I was in a really squalid mood when I wrote that letter thing. I was in such a bad, bad mood. Does it come through? <laughs> Does the venom just drip off the page? I hope so. Um, Christ's sake. What are we on? 24. Let's see how many we can get done in six minutes. Pinch. There we go. Babe loves this. We used to do word searches together all the time. He likes knowing that I can still do them without him being here. It's true. Right, Platt. Um... We've got other things to get on with at the moment. I've set him some tasks um, so I can do this in peace.
he's always nagging about something like hoovering so I set him off somewhere else I don't really want to do any hoovering I keep telling him it's bad for the planet to use all our electrics um, press pressing uh, he said he couldn't stand the dust I said, well, just let it settle and see how you feel about it <laughs> after you've had a think. Um, press, 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 press studs, press studs. Um, I ruined it for myself by saying, he watching it. Sushi. Uh, what was it for? Press. There we go. Push the button. Trouser press. Who used to have trouser press? Strange thing to say. Oh, there we go. Next one's quirk. How about that? Quirk. I found it just as quickly as that. Even quicker than the kink. Kink and quirk. Quirky. Strange how just a simple, a simple difference can make such a large, large. Slow, slow, mm, salacious. I like the word salacious. I can't find this though. Right, slow. Ah, I found it. Slow, whatever that means either. Shall I write it down? Slow. I mean, I know it's slurry means. And slay. Is it along those lines? So I've written it down just to check in there. Snarl. Snappy. Snagwort. Um, celestial. I've got the other one I wrote as well. Um, sna. No, that's not it. Keep writing. Well, I will. Snarl. Is that the word I'm looking for? Yes. You want to watch? That's the bit he really likes. Spin. Spin. You know why? Spin doctors do. How are we going to spin this? I don't know. How do you want to spin it, Dave? You don't want to spin it. You want to spiral it? Spiral. Spiral. Uh, that's not spin or spiral. I say stagnant already. Sp <laughs> Flotsam. Uh, I think all this started, that looks like a watching us, doesn't it? I know it's not. Um, when I wrote that thing before, and I have some, I was talking to the Mario in the other room, and for some reason verbose came. Oh, I asked him what, anyway, verbose came up, which means wordy, doesn't it? Wordy for the sake of being wordy. It was, it's fun. That is, no, is that for both? No, what is it? I've forgotten already. What's that word that means wordy for the sake of being wordy? For both. So sometimes it's just fun, isn't it? Spiral. And when I used it, didn't I? I used it in that place just to, to chuck it in when I was writing that little that little thing before. So it was like a oh no, an ironic use of it, which was funny.
Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, where's Spiral? Babe! And what I like about Iris Murdoch, as an example, when I've read some of her, and I haven't read much of it, as you know, um, some words, if I've checked them, they don't seem to come up in the dictionaries. Like, so maybe she just makes these words up, but you just have to guess what they mean, what they feel like they mean. I like that. Squint. They just mean how they feel. I did have Thessalus in a proper decent dictionary, but once upon a time. The last word while well, we've still got time, <sighs> and then I'll just I don't know, I send it to the sky people, they don't want it. Well, they might want it later <laughs> when they're studying. Studying this, can't say squint. Please, can we find it? Babe won't be able to sleep. I think there's all these things still left to do. Is it only him trying? That's not the case at all. But if we're all doing our bit. Um, there we go. Squint. If you really squint, you'll see. You'll see we're all trying. Squirm. All the time to find squirm. Do this next bit in private and I'll read you another story if you want. I'll write you another story. <laughs> <laughs>